Hello, Bayside staff and students. Are you interested in a new online resource with thousands of online magazines? Need something to read? Well, come and check it out. So we're going to start off at the Bayside website. You're going to go into Learning Commons. Now, you might need to log in to some of these databases. So let's start. How do I log in? Where do I get that information? So go back to the Learning From Home section. Click here. And you're going to see this Bayside database passwords. So you're going to need to access these. So staff and students are going to need to know these. So for instance, often our username would be something like 63Bay and our password would be library. Okay, so there's some variations here, but you'd always want to start here if you're having a problem. Okay, you might also need to log in to your account from home. So that would be like your regular login like you would do from home. So I'm going to click up here, login, and you're going to be prompted to something like this. So you're just going to do like you do on your normal school computers. It would be your regular Bayside um, student number and then your password like you do for at school every day. So I'm logged in to Madame Shu. I got my passwords. I know where those are located in that learning from home file. Don't forget staff. All of our videos that we're creating on how to use World Book or global issues, these are great for your students and for you to view if you have any questions, okay? This video will also be located here. So going back, we want something good to read at home. So current resources. We're going to start in our BC Digital Classroom. Now today's database I'm going to show you is called Flipster. Flipster has about I think a thousand five hundred different magazines to pick from. So I'm going to show you an example here. Here are our latest issues of Flipster and all the magazines are listed um, in no particular order. I just want to give you a heads up both staff and students. This is a database meant for adults and students. So there are going to be adult related magazines in here. There is adult content. So please uh, make sure if you're using this database that you're using it, um, that you're reading through the articles or looking through because we have, this is an American database as well. Just looking up here, I see right off the top searches, we have 1,300 different magazines and I've got Christianity Today. Okay, so we want to make sure that we are um, making sure that these are appropriate age appropriate resources for our students. Okay, so I'm not going to go in these millions of databases. I'm going to start off by narrowing down my search. Okay, guys? So I just want to give you a couple areas that I quite looked at. I like the adult coloring books. Super cool section. You can print these off, okay, for yourself too, teachers, if you're stressed out at home. But also for socials and science, just tons of cool databases. It is American, so, I mean, if you need something on the Constitution, right here you go. Uh, President Donald Trump, this one's a little bit interesting. Uh, let's just say uh, the one I really liked, for instance, was, I'll just go back up, zoo animals, okay? This might be better off for younger grades, and I haven't yet explored all of these data, um, these coloring books, but here you go as an example. You can scroll through the data, the coloring book, but each one has a little write-up on the actual animals. So that might be good for some of your social studies or science projects. So let's go back in. Um, that was our adult coloring book section. Again, um, there's 157 different adult coloring books, so lots to, to pick from. Uh, because I teach en français, I'd like to explore our French uh, magazines. Um, these advanced searches and uh, basic searches are a little harder to navigate, so I have just been going through categories mostly. So for French, I'm going to click on French. I have a hundred, uh, sorry, I have 75 French titles. Okay, so awesome! It gives you a quick description. This is Canadian Wildlife Federation, Family Science. So I'm going to actually I can read this issue or go to the magazines itself. So if I read this issue, check so. Okay, guys. Here we go. Um, I can f I just go through the actual magazine. I can go through uh, all of the issue here. So this is a very new publication. There's only two copies in this publication. Um, I can go through the, uh, the the title of page of contents, etc. Here, or I can go through the different pages. Okay. So awesome. This is really cool for maybe the month of November. Um, uh, sorry, the month of um, Halloween. 
Uh, so I love this one, Fond Fastic. This one has a few features, like unfortunately you can't share it to your Google Classroom. There's no way of doing that. The settings are just about more formatting. So this, um, this database can't be easily embedded into your classroom, but you could create a video like this to show the kids on how to find it. Um, let's see what other ones. So again, like I said, there's some adult content. I'm going to go to the last page because I know in this one there's a cool French, a bunch of French cool ones here. So for my French uh, students, La Naturaliste, an amazing one for kids. And further down, I oopsies, maybe it was on page three. I have um, Cool, which is sort of more a, a teenager magazine, um, and other ones that are uh, les débrouillards, les explorateurs for kids. So I really encourage you guys, if you have nothing to read at French in home, this is it right here. Look, it's a full magazine, free, from home, en français, okay? So super cool, guys. Let's go back to the Flipster database, okay? Um, for staff, I'm thinking let's go look under some family and kids section. Okay, so we have 94 um, titles for family and kids. Right off the bat, I see zoo books, I see spiders, I see Ranger Rick, okay? Awesome right there. There is also teaching guides in here for you guys, okay? So what I liked about this, when I looked under kids, I also get the French versions right here. National Geographic kids right here. Can you imagine how amazing this would be for your science curriculum, okay? Um, and like I said, there are further down, here you go, Spider's Teacher Guide. So this is on how to use that spider magazine in your teacher, um, your class. So it has right there, teaching of lessons, objectives. It has woo, worksheets right there, guys, based on one of the articles in the magazine. So it's all there for you, okay? So I strongly encourage you, staff, and te um, to play around with this. Um, maybe encourage your kids to read uh, one of these magazines uh, per month. Uh, and it's an awesome support for if we go virtual online learning, guys. Here are amazing online resources for you. So I hope you like it. Flipster, how do I get to it again, guys? Learning comments, let's try it right from the scratch. Learning comments. If you don't know your passwords, you're going to start here, okay, in the learning from home. Next off, for the actual databases, right in here. Okay, guys, I know there's Flipster there. Another cool one is National Geographic. So I can talk about that next time. So hope you like it. Flipster magazines. Merci beaucoup.